Many Americans are worried about the economy and want to see steps taken to get the economy moving again. This year, Congress has allocated $1 trillion to get the economy moving, and yet all this spending has only slowed the rate of decline. It is clear that Congress has to come up with new strategies and approaches to grow the economy once again. There is one step Congress should take immediately, which would liberate American businesses, create jobs, and provide opportunities for new startups, and not cost the taxpayer a penny. Congress should repeal Sarbanes-Oxley, which costs every small business $4,360,000 a year in compliance if it wants to become a public company. $4,360,000 a year is massively bigger than the original Securities and Exchange Commission estimate that it would cost $91,000 a year for compliance. The government estimate was wrong by a factor of 4,000 percent. This difference in cost can be a matter of life and death for small businesses. One California venture capital firm told me that Sarbanes-Oxley has pushed new businesses back from a five-year startup period to a 12-year startup period. This costs money and jobs, and it discourages future entrepreneurs from starting their own businesses. America's great strength has always been inventing the next generation of new companies and new jobs. America has always focused on growing the future rather than propping up the past. Now Sarbanes-Oxley is destroying new job creation and new company growth at a time when we need it the most. The effect of Sarbanes-Oxley in Silicon Valley has been especially dramatic. In the second quarter of 2008, there were no public offerings of venture capital-backed companies in Silicon Valley, a phenomenon not seen since 1978. In the third quarter, there was only one. Sarbanes-Oxley has had a direct effect on venture capital. If it is not repealed, we will see Silicon Valley's status as a hotbed of innovation erode and see more and more of our future invented outside of the United States. Alex Pollack, a distinguished scholar at the American Enterprise Institute, has concluded that the total costs far outweigh the benefits, especially for smaller companies. Mr. Pollack is not alone. Roberta Romano of Yale has concluded that Congress pieced together a series of reforms resulting in provisions that were ill-conceived. In fact, Ms. Romano is so unhappy with Sarbanes-Oxley that she recommends that the corporate governance provisions should be stripped of their mandatory force and rendered optional for registrants. The experts have condemned the cost of Sarbanes-Oxley. Business leaders, entrepreneurs, and venture capital investors have all condemned the cost of Sarbanes-Oxley. The time has come to create more American jobs and grow more American companies by repealing Sarbanes-Oxley. If you agree that Congress should act now to help the economy by repealing Sarbanes-Oxley, go to americansolutions.com and sign our petition to Congress to help create jobs and repeal this bill. Remember, the economy you are saving is yours.